reverses the logic of um, standardly how my spell cooldowns work. Um, what this is going to do is it's going to say when the spell is not active. You want to monitor it when it's not active. You want it red when it's not active, okay? Um, again, nothing special. Just uh, make sure it has a timer on it. And for the second part, we want it to be green for whenever uh, we need to use it. So for Flame Shock, let's go into here real quick. It's a debuff. And this one is inverted because we want to know whenever it's not active on our enemy. So you also make sure it's enemy target selected. And for Lava Burst, it's my spell cooldown. And you want to make sure that inverted is not selected. So it's just pretty much, it's much simpler. And let's go and test that real quick. As you can see, I applied Flame Shock down here, and you can see the duration left of my Lava Burst. And it says I need to use Lava Burst now, and there it goes, it goes green, and I just used it. Fantastic. Alright, so let's go ahead and let this stuff fall off, make sure that it, it does change colors to green. Okay, four seconds left on Flame Shock. And there goes Flame Shock, and it says, hey, it's green, you don't need to use it. There, bam, I just used it fantastic very helpful whenever you're on the move and you don't have time to go and look at anything else and you just want to see okay is it red or is it green that's pretty much all you need to do it's very simple right let's just continue on go back into slash power next thing I like is the um, water shield icon let's look at that again it kind of falls down and it bounces and it really gets your attention real quickly what I want here is to monitor whenever uh, water shield falls off. Okay, so this one's a buff, call it water shield, and inverted. Okay, you may or may not want to put a sound to it, it doesn't really matter. Um, I also like to have the animation of bounce, which is the begin animation that gives it this bounce effect right here. And whenever it's finished bouncing, it'll pulse until you do it. So let's see it pulse. There it goes, starting to pulse now. So let's go ahead and get in combat and see what happens. Right now I currently have Flame Shock equipped and I'm going to click it off now. There it goes. Flame Shock. Or not Flame Shock, sorry. Uh, water Shield. There it goes. So let's put Water Shield back on ourselves, make sure that it goes away. There it goes. goes away. Very useful for PvP purposes and fights where you need to be mana concert, uh, aware. Um, next thing is uh, bloodlust or heroism, whatever your case may be. Um, I like to make sure it's a buff, bloodlust, in combat, animation, it's a pulse effect, and with a timer underneath. Okay. So let's go ahead and use that, make sure it works. Blah, blah, lust. There it goes. Blah, lust. And use. Very simple. And next thing I like is the totem icon that we have here. It's kind of a spinning totem. Okay. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell us when we don't have our Wrath of Air totem buff anymore. Alright. Uh, this is useful whenever you accidentally range your totems or the timer on your totems completely falls off. I know it's happened to me before where totems completely disappear and I forget to replace them. This icon will tell you, hey, you're either out of range of them or you need to replace them and it'll be pretty easy for you to figure out which one it is. Either way, you probably want to replace your totems. Okay, we want to make sure in activation um, that it is a buff, Wrath of Air totem, or Wrath of Air, and uh, inverted for whenever we do not have it. Okay, and the animation that I have is a spin clockwise and pulse, as you can see. Uh, last but not least are these two icons here um, for Searing Totem and for Fire Elemental Totem. In my raids, I have a Demo Lock, and because I have a Demo Lock, I don't have to put down Totem of Wrath. I can instead put down Fire Elemental and a Searing Totem. I've fallen guilty to letting these two things completely disappear and not replace them. Okay, this this will allow you to, this will enable you to remember, um, hey, I don't have this pulsing red thingamabob, so that means that I need to put these totems down, 
right? Very useful, very useful. So let's go ahead and get in combat here. Let's test everything out that we have. Let's close this out first. There it goes. So first off, we don't have... We do not have Wrath of Air Totem. And next thing is, hey, we're using our Searing Totem. And as you can see it. And also want to make sure it works for Fire Early. Fire Early is working. Fantastic. Alright, so let's go ahead and recall our totems. And now they go away. Very good. Alright, and last but not least is the low mana icon. Alright, and this one's just going to be pretty simple too. It's going to, we want to make, make sure it's activation for mana, 15% threshold, and then it will kind of pulse this low mana uh, icon so you can use Thunderstorm and quickly regain your mana and hopefully down the boss at time before you go oom. Um. Alright, well that's been uh, fun. If you have any questions or concerns or even any suggestions for future videos, go ahead and post them in the comments below. Uh, again, my name is Crimson and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.